There are no real guidelines for us to follow when it comes to ancient artifacts. We have very little to go on in terms of what it takes to make sense of what's going on on this earth in the very remote past. For example, in a Scottish town that is now a housing estate, a mind-blowing discovery was made here in 1887. What was uncovered was not only one of the finest and oldest ancient works of art, but it is thought that it may even be some sort of star map. It is thought to be at least 5,000 years old, and in 1967, the decision was made to bury the site. Isn't that astonishing, or what? The reasons for burying it was, of course, to preserve it for future generations to try to uncover what this ancient marvel represents and what great secrets it may hold. It is older than the dynastic Egyptian civilization, but it is not older than the Giza Plateau. But if we were to believe the history books, then we are to believe that 5,000 years ago, we were not only building structures for posterity, but we were also leaving graphic artwork behind that appears to represent some sort of star map. We have to conclude that the site at Clydebank in Scotland is far older than what they claim it to be. Again, we find a place on Earth we can't make much sense of because it does not fall into line with our education. Thinking beyond what we have been told is our only option, and we are convinced there are many thousands of clues to uncover throughout our world about an ancient civilization that history and time forgot about for countless thousands of years. There are plenty of artifacts that we can look at and really wonder how it was envisioned. One such artifact comes from the Saqqara Necropolis that was discovered only five years before the Wright brothers took to the sky with a plane. Wait till you hear this. The year is 1898. This is a time when the Western world was basically looting Egypt for ancient artifacts. One of these reclaimed artifacts was what would later become known as the Saqqara Artifact. It may be a smoking gun as to how we develop the ability of aviation. Though its shape resembles a bird, it more closely resembles a modern airplane with the head of a bird. Furthermore, the hieroglyphs on the model airplane read the gift of Amon, and three papyrus found near the artifact mentioned the phrase, I want to fly. Crazy, right? The History Channel proved the Saqqara bird was capable of flight. They turned towards Simon Sanderson to build a replica of the artifact. Sanderson performed several tests on the replica in a wind tunnel without a tailplane and found that it produced four times the glider's own weight in lift. The only thing that prevented the Saqqara's bird from achieving flight was the lack of a rear stabilizing rudder needed to maintain balance and according to researchers, the Saqqara bird did in fact possess the critical component that was lost in time. It is not the only such artifact from history that appears to depict knowledge for flight. There are such clues in the Nazca lines and even from ancient Indian epics which describe the Amana flying machines, Nazca lines being one of the better examples of flight. The lines could only be seen from the sky. They were accidentally discovered in the 1920s and if we had never taken to the sky, we would have never have known that they were there. Does that not just blow your mind? Of course we must have had the ability of flight here on the earth in the remote past. Even the Mayans literally depict a working fly machine on Lord Pakal's sarcophagus, complete with breathing apparatus, levers for control, and even jet thrusters. It is just another example that a civilization existed on this earth that is beyond comprehension of what we have ever gave them credit for. We have evidence that ancient civilizations had knowledge of star charts, knowledge of advanced building techniques, and the capabilities of flight. It all points to the obvious answer that we really don't know a lot about history beyond 5,000 years ago. Wouldn't you agree? The Saqqara artifact is just a tiny part of the many theories concerning the possibility of ancient lost technology, and like most controversial theories, we'll probably never know the real story. What do you guys think? Was there flying machines on our world in a time that predates history? Comments below. Thank you for watching.